another day, another Derby profile. Today's episode is going to be on King Fury. Let's go. King Fury is a bit of a hard horse to crack. He's a bit of a tougher cookie than some of the other horses, as he's a bit bouncy and unpredictable, especially in his two-year-old season. He had pretty solid performances with his win in a main special way and his stakes victory in the street sense over night stakes over eventual Arkansas Derby winner Superstock, which is quite impressive indeed. But in between those victories at Churchill Downs, he had 8th, place finishes in the Claiborne Breeders Futurity, 7th place finishes in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile, and 5th in the Kentucky Jockey Club Stakes, to name all of his blunders. He was an all-or-nothing horse. He had wins, and then he had out-of-the-money performances. In fact, he's never finished better than 5th when it comes to any of his defeats. He either wins, or he really doesn't. He's a Ricky Bobby. Either he's first, or he's last. But, his most recent performance does show some positive signs for King Fury as a 3-year-old. Although he's only had one start, which was the Lexington Stakes, it was quite a good start, as he came from the back of the pack and flew on by to win by an impressive margin, which does show that he likes a fast pace, he likes a pace meltdown, which is a bit specific, so if there isn't a pace meltdown then he might be in a little bit of trouble, and he also likes mud. So, if the derby turns out to be muddy, then I'd say use this guy, because with such a performance in the Lexington Stakes, and also having Curlin as his sire, mud is going to be where he gets the advantage. So keep him in mind if it rains. Even if it doesn't rain, I'd say that he is an okay horse to use when it comes to long shots. Similar to Obezos, he's a good closer, so he could really close and pick off some horses late. So, you could consider him, but I do prefer Obezos for that niche role, although a lot of people also do. So, if you want a long shot that ironically isn't as popular as, say, Obezos, then I'd say maybe go for King Fury. He isn't as good as he has some factors that are a little hard to understand and also a little questionable, like his love of a pace meltdown, which I don't think is happening in the Kentucky Derby, and also the fact that his biggest performance came in the slop. So there are a few things to worry about if those things aren't going to happen. So King Fury is an okay long shot choice, but I'd say he's not perfect. Hope you guys enjoyed this derby profile, comment on other horses I should cover, and see you guys next time.